What's up guys, Baker Boys Outdoors, and today we are going to be making some wood baits. Now, I've already got three, three, or no, I have two unfinished, I'll show them to you. I got this guy, looks like a little crankbait. Probably gonna try and get a square bill kind of thing going on there. And right here we have a popper. Got the mouth right there. Got some gills cut into it. Fat belly on it. So I've got my uh, line line ties right here or eyes. You want to call it that? Got three of them, and I'm just gonna get that popper filled with holes so I can put in the eyes, glue them in, and then do some uh, coats of polyurethane right there. So we'll get that out, and then. I'm going to try and make another bait in this video in under an hour, but I'm not going to be able to paint it because I don't have any paint. I have an airbrush right over here, but I don't have any paint, so that's an issue. But in the future, uh, we'll be getting some paint and we'll be able to paint up everything. So I'm going to switch the camera view so you guys can see my hands and what I'm going to be doing alright guys so we're going to be working on this bait right here the camera is going to be shaky because I have it held up right now by uh, like the wire I use to make the eyes which is this and a screw so we're making do with the camera angles here I'm going to try and stable this. But we're going to, right now I have a Sharpie marked right here because we're going to drill the first hole here to put in the eye hole for the line. So I got to get my drill. And we got to find a drill bits. So we're going to open this fine box of drill bits and I'm going to take out one of my eyes that I've made and compare it to the end of a drill bit so this one seems to line up really good make a good hole I'm just gonna look at this one too. Okay, we'll start out with a smaller one. Just because if it is too small, I can go bigger. But if it's too big, then there's no going back. So. We're going to, my bad. Take a good old drill here. Got to drill it in. Slowly drill into the hole I made. Yeah, that's pretty straight. <laughs> Get all the wood out of that. Clean it out good. Make sure this fits in there. Yep, and that fits in there good. 
so initially it's just going to look like that. So I'm going to get, I don't really have any scrap pieces of wood, so I'm just going to use this lid from uh, Chips Ahoy little snack pack thing. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue. This isn't the best stuff to use. You want to use the thinnest uh, super glue as possible because it gets in the cracks and holes a lot better. And just globber power that thing up and shove it up in there. Now that hole wasn't very tight, so I might use a smaller drill bit next time. I'll be back. I'm going to go get some rags. Okay, got some rags, shop towels, clean the excess super glue off. It looks pretty good. This hole is super loose. Not happy about that, but it's whatever. So I'm gonna let that dry. While this dries over on the towel, I'm gonna get this bait that I made. So this is supposed to represent like a top water spook, um, like an old school headin bait. So this is the first one I ever made, and that's the uh, the front tie line hole, and then it's gonna have three trebles on it. But I started out from. Uh, blank piece of wood on that and came out with this and once it gets painted it'll look a lot more impressive but for now I'm just gonna keep making wooden baits that I can paint so usually if you don't want to waste a lot of super glue you should probably drill all your holes first but I didn't really think about that. So, I'm going to go grab one of my poppers from my uh, tackle box and bring it over here so I can have kind of a, a representation to go off of. Okay, so I got this Lunker Hunt popper. I think this is the only popper I actually have, so... Basically, we're going to just be going for a middle of the body treble, which these hooks aren't very good. I snagged this on a stick and it bent it, so that tells you how strong the hooks are. And then we're going to go for a back, a back facing or whatever treble hook on uh, the popper that we made. So just as a representation... Of what I'm trying to get this will be sitting right here and I'm gonna wait for the popper to dry and I'll be back all right guys so we're over at my little bandsaw deal here and I was noticing how here this is in the way I was noticing how this backside is flat so uh, the eye can be inserted in here and on this, it is very pointed, and I think that'd be pretty difficult to do. So I think I might just trim off this little flat bill, or flat edge point back here, just to make it easier, like that. So we're going to get to it.
Okay, so that, that worked out better than I thought. So I just cut that little back point off and now we've got a nice area to drill drill a hole into and get some baits made. Okay guys, so I'm back here at the workbench and I'm just going to do a tiny bit of sanding because as you can see it's not perfectly straight. So just do a little bit of sanding there. It's already looking better. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because it is handmade. And I'm not going for a completely professional outlook because these are going to be personal baits for now. So I'm just going to smooth up these edges. Kind of continue that tail that was on there in the first place. Kind of blended in there, I guess. So now we have that little platform to screw into, and we still have a little popper bait. Okay, so I've gotten this marked to be pretty straight with the front eye hole. So we're gonna get this drilled. Make sure it stays pretty straight, I guess. Okay, that should be far enough. Because my back eye is going to be the longest. Okay, yep, that's long enough. So. That's what it'll look like. Now that glue has already started to kind of start the drying process, so I don't know how reliable that is. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and lay down some more super glue after I get the bottom, the middle, mid belly hole drilled. Okay, so... I got this mid belly hole marked and I did a little bit of sanding to even it out so it'll float even. Hopefully this works. I'm really new to this so I have no clue how this is going to do but that's why I'm doing it and testing it out. So I'm going to drill this back because I'm going to start it like this and then angle it back because it'll probably hit that middle eye hole or that wire that is for the middle eye And we just barely went through the top, as you can see that itty bitty hole there. So we've, we've gone as far as we can through there. So this might end up being a little too long. Nope, just perfect. So that that's what it's going to look like initially. But now we're going to get some super glue poured down. And then fill these holes with it, let it all set, and then we'll start the first coat of the polyurethane. So, just poured down the super glue, and I flipped it over because I wanted to have kind of more of a flat surface to dip these in. Globbering the super glue on there as much as I can. Even though a lot of it will come out, I still want to get as much in there as possible. 
I'm going to clean off the axis real quick. Saves a lot of work. Dip that guy in. And then, I'm going to look down the bait, make sure it's mostly lined up. Again, it, it doesn't have to be perfect. There. Look down. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And also keep in mind these twists for the line and hooks. They're kind of crooked because they get uh, twisted themselves. I still have to find out a, be a better method to... Come on, focus. I gotta find out a be better method to keep them from uh, twisting the actual eyelet holes themselves, like this. Like, get it to this. I don't know why it's not focusing. Anyways, you can see that. So, we're going to let this thing dry. And then we'll dip it. So now that the bait is dry, I'm going to crack this polyurethane open. Okay. Polyurethane is open. And now, time to dip the bait. Okay, instead of dipping this, I just went in and ate, so I'm back, and now we're going to actually dip it in polyurethane, because everything is dry. I got my pliers here, and I'm trying to do this without hitting the camera, but I'm just going to dip it in. I sanded it with fine grit after uh, I got everything glued in just to kind of roughen up the surface and help this soak into the wood. But that is what we're going for right there. Except we don't want bubbles. There. Uh, still getting bubbles. Okay. So I'm going to hang this up. And then I'm going to get to cutting my piece of wood for uh, the next bait. Alright, so I just cut this piece of wood out with this from my long piece of wood I got. This is like pine wood, so it's not ideal for making baits, but it's all I got, so it's what we're dealing with. gonna get these edges cleaned up a bit and I didn't cut these straight whatsoever as you can see <laughs> which shouldn't matter at all so we're gonna use that side because it's cleaner but my idea was to make an actual jointed swim bait but I don't have a thin enough um, saw for that to like make the the joint part you know and I don't have any angle blocks yet made so I think I'm just gonna go for a bigger uh not jerk bait what is it called hold on jerk bait a bigger crankbait. That's what I was going for. I forget things sometimes. But this is going to be a honcho of a crankbait. So we're going to make a big gut on it. That kind of that looks good, I guess. I mean, maybe I could do that. I like that shape a little better, I think. 
Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that one. Scratch that. So. Yeah, we're going to go over to the saw and cut this out. Alright, so I got these lines drawn up on top. They're kind of rough, so I don't know. We'll give it a shot. All right, so we have our general shape here. I, I kind of messed up up here quite a bit, so we're gonna have to do a lot of sanding. All right, so you guys are down here. We're gonna be doing like a time lapse of me sanding all this and getting it looking decent. So let's get to it. Shape is looking good so far though. It's corrected itself, I'd say. A lot better than what it was looking like before. All right guys, so I'm gonna bring the light over here. So we got, uh, this is a general shape right here. Top's looking better. Bottom is looking better. And uh, side profile. We've got like a little dip right here, but once I get carving this along the sides, I'll sort it all out with some more sanding and stuff. But this is the general shape of the next bait that we'll be making. So make sure you give this video a like and if you're new subscribe because I'm gonna be making this bait complete in the next video and if you guys like what we're doing here we'll keep making more so see you in the next video